This photo right here is the first time when I saw Ileana. The first time I saw Ileana. What is happening guys? Art Chisel here and welcome to another video of US Army life in pictures. Since I made this type of video like a few days ago, I got a lot of great feedback about it. Most of you liked it and you guys wanted to see more. And I do have a lot more photos in my hard drive and in my stuff and I just wanted to share it to you guys since you guys always ask how is it after basic training, how is it getting stationed overseas or basically what the army life is about because that's what this channel is about. So without further ado, we're about to start. I got my trusty laptop here as usual and um, yeah, we're going to be going through it and I'm going to tell the story or what the picture is about. And before we begin, just to remind you, this is not in chronological order. I'll be jumping from timeline to a different timeline, a different year to a different month because it's really hard to sort them out. So let's go and enjoy it. Okay, so this picture that we're looking at right now is a photo that was taken in 2015 when I was in Kuwait. It was really sandy over there. Didn't really experience any sandstorms or anything like that but it gets really sandy and I think it kind of gained a little bit of weight. If you look at that picture right there, my face is kind of chubby. This picture right here was some, some gym. I forgot what gym it was, but I basically just finished and I just took a selfie. Nothing special about it and yeah, it was pretty weird. This one right here is a picture from my old unit. I forgot what kind of ceremony we're having. I believe it was for the NCO induction. So that was the theater. That's actually an on post theater in uh, my old duty station. Everyone has to be in class A's. You see a lot of uh, senior NCOs or a few of them that are wearing the, the hat. That's a Stetson. You're authorized to wear that if you are in a cab unit. But not everyone has it. You're not really obliged to buy and get one. But it's highly recommended that you get a Stetson hat, especially if you are going to be with a cab unit. So that's that. This one is back here. It's here in Fort Hood recently, about a year ago. Ileana climbed the cubbies and she took the Nesquik out and just started going to town. This photo is really funny. It was really funny for me. Instead of getting mad, I just laughed it off and I got really... F it was funny because I saw Ileana looking like that with her hair cut, with her bangs cut straight. Looking like Dora. It was just funny. She's in her diapers and just a shirt and everything's a mess and uh if you can see it i got my ghetto chanclas over there on the lower portion of the picture i didn't want to throw it away drake broke it so i taped it up but it broke right away this one right here is drake when he was about like four months years old four months years four months old five months old puppy basically a straight up puppy not even four months i think he was only like two months old so i hope drake was that big again <sighs> They grow up really fast, dogs. Yeah, this one's in Spain. If you look in the picture in the back, that's me in the number 23 jersey. You know, um, wearing the Jordan. Ileana's just hanging out, chilling, taking a nap with her sunglasses on. That was a great time. So if you're stationed overseas while in the military, take advantage of the opportunity because you can go to like different places. This was back in Europe, back in Germany. So we went to Spain. It was really fun. I wish I can go back. This one was the afternoon. Same day when I got promoted to E5 back in 2014, just decided to take a picture. That's the housing on post in Germany. It's pretty clean, it's pretty nice. Yeah, we didn't really have a lot of stuff, that's why it's pretty plain. I know I have my hat indoors because we just wanted to snap a picture. And yeah, my, my pen sticking out of my ACUs. That picture behind, the caricature behind it is a caricature made by a German dude from uh, the Volksfest and yeah, pretty funny. But that day was pretty cool. This is the actual ceremony when I got promoted. Instead of filming it, the guy who was supposed to film it didn't know how to do it. Sucks. But this is a photo of the promotion ceremony when I got promoted from E4 to E5. It was an artillery unit. That was my first sergeant right there. That's my NCO, my mentor in the back, Liliana Flo right there, and my acting commander at that point. We were in the motor pool. Good old days. You probably can see some howitzers there in the back behind the LMTVs. It's all covered up and I don't know why they did it right beside the water buffalo. It's just really weird. Okay, this one right here was when Flor was still in the army. She was working in the TMC and I was working in the line as a medic. I think we picked her up. That's why we have her. But she was basically passed out. We just decided to snap a picture. Just to, It's just funny. So when she grows up, she can see this. 
So that was us when we were still both in the army. This is here in Fort Hood when I was doing airport detail. You have to be in class B's, you know, like basically give a ride and uh, make sure you ride the brand new soldiers incoming to Fort Hood to the right unit, to the right processing area. So I was the, the one in front of the front desk in the airport. So if you're lost and you're a brand new soldier, just come to me. Yeah, I had to be in class B's for a whole 24 hours, but it exceeded 24 hours because flights get delayed and relief doesn't come in until the next day. So that's my class B's with some of my ribbons and stuff. This is another picture from uh, the baby shower. I think I showed some baby picture showers before. Uh, in the first video talking about life in pictures of a US Army soldier. This is a photo back in 2012 or 11, I think, yeah, in AIT. We were at the Fort Sam Medic Museum, Medical Museum, Six Day Whiskey Museum. I don't really know what they call it now, but yeah, just hanging out and checking out the cool stuff. Pretty cool, good times, because I don't really know where most of these guys are now. I don't even know what happened to them. Some of them got out of the army, some of them are still in. But it's just pretty cool looking back at these photos. Yeah, pretty cool glasses, I'm just gonna say, and pretty cool PT belt. Whiskey school right there. It's an 80 man bay. It's a really big bay, and you still sleep in top and bottom bunks. I was on the top bunk the whole time, I didn't really care, I like it. Another picture from the Medic Museum in Fort Sam Houston. Another picture of the Medical mu A Med Museum. I think it is called the A Med Museum back in Fort Sam, so there you go. The old uh, uniform that medics used to wear. This right here is a photo of my boots when I was on fire guard for AIT. So yeah, I was just bored so that's why I snapped that one. So this photo is actually from basic training. This is the first day that we graduated in basic training. And we didn't have our families with us so all the soldiers that didn't have families get to stick around, you know hang out and go to the PX or something or check out the movie theater or whatnot and basically hang out if you don't have family with you so just took a picture you know what I look like after basic training little PFC Masibai this is a photo from Garmisch Germany Floor just decided to uh, take a picture it was a pretty cool mountain right there love it snow miss it this is a picture of all the Filipinos <laughs> In basic training, I don't know where they're at right now. I think some of them are still in the army. Pretty cool, good times. Lost a lot of weight in there. Okay, let's see the next photo. This photo is from AIT. The, the dryer broke, so we had to improvise because we had a lot of freaking uniform to clean, so we had to air dry them and hang them somewhere. And since it was a weekend in AIT, we hanged them. This is, I think his last name is Morgan. He's just chilling there. He's sleeping on top of his made bunk so it doesn't get messed up. Um, you see the laundry bags hanging there, you know, standards. Mm, but I bet it's not like the standards back in the day. I know someone's gonna say that, but there you go. Good times. This is a photo of uh, basic training the day we finally graduated and we we're clearing the barracks, you know, cleaning up everything. It's my drill sergeant right there, E6. There you go, unit in uh, Fort Jackson, basic training. This one, I, I was in the front leading rest thinking I was cool with another dude. This is the one that I wanted to talk about. I'm not even going to mention who, but in this photo, someone passed away. It happens. Uh, he was deployed in Afghanistan not too long ago after 2011 to probably 2012 or 13. A buddy from basic, I didn't really talk to him that much but I do remember him in a small arms fire. It happens. So he's gone now. But his memory lives on and he did serve his country really well. He's a military intelligence guy. Pretty good guy. I have nothing bad against him. It's just sad that it had to happen. All the best. For your family, I hope everything's getting taken care of. He's a really cool guy. Pretty, pretty crazy photo here, because thinking about it now, like someone that I know actually passed, and it happens. That's normal in the army. It happens, but just gotta keep going and fight. This is a photo of me the first time I had fast food after basic training. I think I had Burger King. I was a fatty. Little PFC Masibai right there. Yeah, just enjoying the PX uh, Burger King. This photo right here is the first time when I saw Iliana. The first time I saw Iliana. I actually have a video of this. This was in Germany. So I guess I'll put an annotation somewhere here, a link, or somewhere down below. But this is the first time I saw Iliana and I actually have a video of it. I didn't know what to do, but I was so amazed seeing her. Lor in a Volksfest somewhere in Germany. She was about to pop, as you can see. Huge. 
I was Ileana inside there and uh, she can't get on the rides but she liked that little Michael Jackson photo so she decided to take a picture over there. A uh, picture from basic training last time we were allowed to use our phones. A uh, photo before they took our phones from basic training. My future soldier ID card and what else do we have here? And last picture would be this one before going to an M9 range. Little old private masiba, I thought it was cool, so I took a picture of all the M9s. So there you have it guys, thank you for watching and I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Let me know again if you want a part 3 of the US Army life in pictures.